What are the dirtiest words from the darkest moments of the economic crisis? For many, bank bailout and too big to fail are right up there. The way it went was taxpayers swallowed multi-billion euro bank losses but didn't get a whiff of the profits. Not anymore, say MEPs, who have pushed through a banking union package, a key component of which is protecting the taxpayer from future bank collapse. In the last uh, economic crisis, we suffer a lot of the situation. Today, I don't know which consequence it will have on my everyday life, but I hope that it will be uh, positive. The banks, à mon avis, ils sont pour quelque chose si ils font faillite, et ça obligera peut-être les banques à avoir une politique économique un peu plus raisonnable. A solid majority of MEPs agree. Passing the final part of a package which not only protects Eurozone and non-Eurozone taxpayers, but also secures deposits of up to 100,000 euros and establishes independent early warning and crisis management through the European Central Bank. Banks, shareholders and creditors will be the first to face the losses from a bank failure. O regime que aprovaremos centra no BCE a declaração da inviabilidade de um banco. Liberta o processo de resolução de possíveis e prováveis interferências políticas dos Estados-membros. There were tortuous negotiations with member states anxious to protect their banking sectors. Some MEPs point out that while banks will be forced to shoulder losses in the first phase and to build a 55 billion euro restructuring or wind down facility, taxpayers may still not be completely immune. This cozy relationship between bank owners and uh, their management and the national governments is broken, but uh, there are loopholes and uh, these are, have been put there deliberately by the member states. There are two large countries which were the most in favor of these loopholes and that's France and Italy. MEPs wanted to wind this file up before the elections and they succeeded, just. The question now for the new European administration is will the new rules be sufficient when, if, the next banking crisis comes along.